Risk assessments commonly done by health care providers and insurance companies. And today, Charleston County announced they will begin using a risk assessment tool in the new year to help judges set bonds. News 2's Rebecca Collette explains how this new tool works and why some say it will keep our community safer. Good evening. Essentially, the county's program is a risk assessment of people that are going through bond court to determine if they're likely to repeat offend while they're out on bond. Through a series of questions, people charged with a crime will be scored on how likely they are to break the law while out on bond. The new tool is being implemented in Charleston County by the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council. In the new year, judges will use the scores to help them set bond. When you take a person's um, uh, you know, freedom away from it, it's, it's a very serious issue. So, therefore, it just gives us, makes us jump some hoop in order to make sure that we're doing the work, doing the right thing. The risk assessment will be a tool to use along with victim statements and the police report judges already get. I think it's going to be a, a, a great uh, a support for us as we, as we make decision. The assessment, which assigns a point value to defendants based on a series of questions, was developed in Virginia, where it's already been successful. Data released today shows 75% of people on bond in Charleston County are rearrested on new charges, and implementing this tool will mean a safer community and less discrimination against the poor. Give the judges more and better information so that they can look at individuals and say, are they at a risk to public safety? Are they a risk to commit more crime out in the community? And if so, make their bond setting decisions accordingly. And on the other end of the spectrum, if somebody does not pose a risk, they're low risk, that they can make that bond setting decision appropriately. Really, we have jail as a very restrictive option for those that need to be there, and we want to make sure we don't inappropriately lose jail for the folks on the lower end of the spectrum that don't need to be there. Rebecca Collette, count on two.